Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'll be showing you a way to shape light to create beams or rays. As you can see in the photos, the lighthouse appears to glow for a fun and interesting effect. So let's get started. First, I stamp several images from the rabbit hole designs. The starfish is from Salty Air, and the mermaid and lighthouse are from High Tide. To create this design, I stamp the lighthouse first onto a panel of white cardstock cut to 4 and 3 quarters by 6 inches, and the mermaid onto a panel of white cardstock cut to 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches. Without re-inking the stamp, I also place a piece of masking paper in my stamp positioner and re-stamp the lighthouse. I'll fussy cut this to create a mask. Then I stamp the lighthouse onto another panel of white cardstock cut to the same size as the first, and after cleaning my stamp I use white pigment ink to stamp it one more time on black cardstock. I put aside one of the white cardstock lighthouse panels and the black cardstock piece for now, and then fussy cut my mask. I place the mask over the lighthouse and add another mask at the bottom of the panel to mask off my sky. Then I blend Blueprint Sketch, Chip Sapphire, and Black Soot Distress Oxide Ink to create my sky. I remove the mask and then replace it to cover the sky. Then I blend Prize Ribbon and Blueprint Sketch Distress Oxides to create my ocean. I let the panel dry completely and then add splatters of water and white gouache to the sky to create lots of stars. I set that aside to dry while I work on the rest of the card. Next I color my stamped images starting with the starfish and mermaid. I use Copic markers to color all the images. I've sped this up considerably to shorten the video, but you should be able to see the marker caps for every color I use. If you have any questions about colors or blending, please leave a comment and I'll try to help. I die cut the mermaid and starfish with the coordinating dies and then color the lighthouse with Copic markers as well. After I finish coloring everything, I trim the lighthouse panel down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches 
and trim the other lighthouse panels to match. Next, I take the black stamped panel and use the beam of light stencil to trace light beams coming from the top of the lighthouse. Then I fussy cut those beams as well as the light from the lighthouse from the black cardstock. I adhere the black cardstock behind the blended lighthouse panel. The black cardstock will effectively block the LED stickers from shining through. This is our first step in shaping the light to create beams. Next I figure out where I want the mermaid and starfish on my panel and trace the starfish onto the white stamped panel as a reference. I'm going to create my circuit on this panel, and the starfish will be where you push to turn on the LEDs. I'm using white and yellow LED stickers from Chibitronics, along with conductive fabric tape, a push here battery holder, and the Chibi stencil. To create my circuit, I start by peeling the adhesive square off the back of the battery holder and adhere it over my trace starfish. Then I add a small piece of double-sided tape in the center to hold my battery in place and add the foam ring. I use the chibi stencil to trace the outline of the original LED sticker over the lighthouse. Then I use a pencil to draw my circuit. The blue line on the battery holder will connect to the negative point of my LED sticker, and the red line on the battery holder will connect to the positive side of the LED stickers. First I apply conductive fabric tape running from inside the foam ring to the negative point of the traced outline. Then I add a second piece of tape connecting the positive side of the trace sticker outline to the red line on the battery holder. I place my CR2016 coin battery inside the foam ring with the positive side facing up. And just to double check my placement, I retrace the outline of the LED sticker on top of the lines of tape. Then I place my yellow LED sticker over the traced outline, making sure the negative point is on top and the positive side is on the bottom. When I close the battery holder, the positive line of tape touches the positive side of the battery to complete the circuit and turn on the LED light. When I add the colored panel on top, you can see the light glow from the lighthouse but it's pretty contained to that little window. Generally, when you place a panel over the LED stickers, you'll get a little halo of light like you see here on these fireflies. It's a pretty look, but not what I'm going for in this design. First, I add more LED stickers. 
I add two more pieces of tape to extend my tape lines on the other side of the LED sticker. The tape is conductive on both sides, so it doesn't matter which side of the tape is touching the LED stickers. Then I overlap a white LED sticker on both sides of the yellow LED. You can overlap them as long as you don't cover up the tiny metallic sensors on the LED sticker. They're the raised part of the stickers that you can feel with your finger. Since I'm overlapping my stickers, I add two more pieces of conductive fabric tape over the top and bottom. This just helps to reinforce the circuit and make sure my stickers won't move. When I close the battery holder, you can really see those LEDs glow. Unfortunately, I did the next step for getting to turn my camera back on, but to help with the illusion of light beams, I place the stencil over the colored panel and then use a dauber to add a little white pigment ink over the Distress Oxide inks. I also adhered the Mermaid and Starfish and added a sentiment banner. On the back of the colored panel, you see the black cardstock that helps to shape the light into beams by blocking the light coming through the panel. And I also added a small strip of vellum to soften the yellow light shining through the lighthouse. Now when I place the colored panel over the circuit panel and press down on the battery holder, you can see those light beams shining on either side of the yellow LED. It's hard to see under my desk lights, but you can see in the photo how the LEDs seem to radiate from the lighthouse and beams, giving it a really neat effect. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafter series, and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!